hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and uh, this is the same series of uh, clean architecture uh, with you know sql as pattern and mediator r so so far actually we have we have covered okay we have covered actually overview of that you know clean architecture and sql as pattern and mediator r as well as you know we have create a you know project structure okay in you know api layer user interface application layer domain layer and facial layer just create an architecture but yeah after that actually the next session will cover also like you know this domain layer uh, implementation of domain layer okay but yeah now in this session actually we'll learn okay how we can implement this application layer okay so there are actually there is a many things we have to do in this application layer so that uh, i was thinking i will create you know little little session for this application layer so that uh, we can easily digest and we can understand a better way okay so before starting of this implementation okay i'll especially recommend okay if you visit first time in my channel so please watch or you know please please watch my previous session and there is a clean architecture with the you know mediator r and secure pattern see there is a three session already we have done okay overview structure and domain layer as well as this is advanced series so if you want to learn first in a basic series of clean architecture so also there is a there's a you know series one more series over here so yeah okay so yeah let's get started okay and uh, yeah so what we have so far we have actually we have an you know, implementation of domain layer but yeah we have to implement you know this application layer and in this application layer actually we have already created a command and query which is part of sqrs pattern okay so we follow actually in the sqrs pattern like command and query so in this session will cover first you know get blocks query okay let me zoom in okay so yeah in this in this session we'll cover in this get blocks side get blocks all the get blocks then we'll cover next session is get blocks id then we'll create a create blocks delete blocks and update blocks okay so we'll cover one by one so that we can easily understand and digest okay so okay uh, let's get started let me add first a class okay that is called as a view model so whatever you know application layer returning the data actually convert the data of entity from the entity domain entity so we have to convert in a domain uh, view model okay so that view model we have to create first so let me call it to blog bm okay and let me create some property so that whatever we have want to return we can create it okay so just create okay and uh, okay i guess i don't think we have to return that image url okay so yeah that is fine for this demo purpose okay then we have to create a query class okay so how we can do that let me create a get blog query okay and make it to public and just inherit i request i request interface okay see it is a uh, inside uh, of that mediator inside of the mediator uh, interface okay so let call it and see what need to pass of this year we have to pass you know a response so what could be our response uh, we ha we have to return response as a list list of uh, blog view model okay which is just created okay okay this is a one way there is another way actually uh, i think uh, yeah there is another way we can do that i think instead of class we can use a record okay there's a new way actually so in this record we don't record this okay like this way see and just do that okay so yeah there is a two way actually create a query class 
the old version is a class and the new version is a record okay so yeah i'll move it to you know that old one also just for knowledge purpose i just sh share you okay okay and then what need to create see we have create a query class so in this query class we have to implement as a one handler okay so how we can do that in this sequence pattern so let me create get blog query handler okay and then make it to public and just inherit i request handler okay so that we can pass it and we can you know handle you know whatever our request what is our response okay that's why we create this handler and uh, what is our request our request is cat blog query which is just created here okay so this one actually our request so oh, pass it to here and then what is the response our response is just list of blog view model okay so yeah that is done and then why is complaining because it is complaining it is an interface so we have to implement the method as well okay whatever implement in this interface okay so once you mouse over over here then you will see this see that no blurb sign and just once you click over here just share the option of implement interface so you can just implement okay and let me just drag there okay so now see this is a handler class handler method is generated okay there's a by default it's you know just not implement expect exception is a throw-in over here implement so we have to remove and we'll do our our things okay okay now now how we can get the data okay in this handler so in this handler we will get the data from our domain layer okay so see in this domain layer we already implement as a you know one abstraction repository okay our block blocks abstraction okay so we have to inject this one and over here in this handler and then we have to call those method okay so see direct i have create uh, control uh, you know constructor of this handler class and what i need to do i just inject this block repository and then uh, control dot so it will show me that we have to assign up as a field okay so just assign this you know inject and assign inst create the instance of that okay of the block repository and then we can use easily and how we can use that just okay just create a wait because it is a sync method so we have to add a wait and then whatever our you know create instance property okay read only property is a block repository and inside the block repository we have you know those method method so we have to call this one and that's it okay and then we have to store a variable so where just blocks so we have create a you know property we have assign this you know whatever return type we have assigned over here but see the return type is a you know let me zoom in so return type is a domain entity okay so we have to convert to our view model okay so there is a two way okay so we have to you know there is a two way to convert you know whatever our domain entity to our view model entity so we can use that you know imapper that is a best way actually to use here okay but that is take some time so i will do i will create a separate session for that to convert you know domain entity to our you know view model entity okay which is using imapper okay but as of now what i will do i will just convert you know just normal normal way like you know just select you know use the link you okay x create entity and just Create a lambda expression that view model uh, and then just author equal to x author the name description and what else is pending is a pending i guess id as well okay 
so let me fix it and then break this line to here and also break one more line and then finally what need to do convert to to list so that whatever you know whatever data it's uh, looping through and convert to here and then create a list okay and then finally we store a blog list okay and finally we have to return okay yes so that is done but yeah in the next session we'll convert you know we will create a imapper we implement a imapper in this clean architecture okay uh, in this application layer and we'll we'll use that one okay so but as of now this is sufficient for the get blocks so what we have to what we have to what we have to done so just need to recap so that we can understand again okay so in this get blocks query implement what need to do first we have to create you know the view model okay whatever view model we have to return to ui and the presentation layer so we have to create a you know block be model and then we have to create a one query okay there's a two way also this uh, create a query uh, like using the record on using the class okay and we use the interface i request interface and return type is a response type is a you know, list of blocks and then we create a handler and in this handler uh, we all, again we have to use the i request handler interface and then use the request get block query and then whatever response we want and we have implement uh, that interface method and here we have to put our logic our business logic okay so we'll inject also our you know abstraction class uh, i block repository and inside that i block repository we'll call our method and just we have to convert and return back to there okay so that is fine for this session next session actually or, or let me just rebuild build so that is there any issue or any error so that we can make sure uh, there is no error okay see let me zoom in so there is no error it is succeed okay so yeah so thank you have a nice day and uh, next session will cover will create a session of imapper how we can implement imapper and convert it to do you know that entity in our domain entity to our bu model entity okay thank you and have a nice day